So in this video, we're going to talk about sending a broadcast email or a marketing email one to many audience or many contacts using Resend. Now, Resend is an email platform for sending transactional one-to-one -one or uh, marketing emails one to many emails at scale. Now, if you're not familiar with Resend, I have a video on the channel where I talk about implementing Recent or bringing Recent into a Next.js app and using it together with React email to send emails. I'll link it in the cart or in the description somewhere so you can watch that video first and then come back here. But in this video, we're going to talk about a specific newly added feature to Recent, which is broadcast emails to send marketing emails. Now, we're going to dive into the documentation, but we're going to add this in the context of this project. Now, you might have seen this project. We built this portfolio site using Next.js and MDX over at WebDev Simplified channel. I'm going to include a link into the description to this video over Kyle's channel so you can watch that video. On that project, we're going to have this newsletter form where we allow users to just subscribe to our newsletter. Now, when we were building that, we just left uh, that part of it empty in that you could implement whatever logic you had in that subscription. You can add them to your database. You can add them to your MailChimp or any other service provider that you're using for your newsletter. But here, we're going to use Recent to add these contacts as our audiences in Recent and then use their platform to broadcast our newsletter to kind of uh, complete that project uh, from start to finish. It's a two-part video. The first part, which is building this project, is on WebDev Simplified channel. And then this part, which is a small part, I thought I will put it on my channel, which is more specifically if you want to use Recent. And I guess uh, different folks can use different services from ConvertKit to MailChimp and whatnot. So this is just to show how you would do this with Recent. So let's dive right in and uh, walk over the code. Let's uh, start from the Recent documentation. Let's go get started here in the docs so in the documentation again there is a video on the channel for implementing recent i'm not going to walk through that i'm just going to come down here and talk about broadcast which is a newer feature added here so this allows you to send marketing emails you can create audiences examples would be newsletters product launches updates, promotions, uh, and whatnot. And then once you create contacts in your different audiences, um, you'd be able to then uh, design your emails using a no-code editor. We're going to look at this together as well to design your, uh, your emails and then send them to your contacts. It supports Markdown, so you can write Markdown. It's a Notion-style text editor in that you can hit slash to have commands to select different things or just paste in uh, markdown files here with mark, uh, markup language um, and it understands that there is different styling that we have um, a global styling for uh, global um, like background and colors you can also hover on every element and it will uh, pop open a styles if you can see in this video here it shows some styling tab on the right hand side for that again we're going to see this once you're done with the style you can just send a test email and if it is ready you can just um, send it to go out now this uh, is you can use this feature for free um, you get to create one audience but you can send unlimited uh, emails if i can go to the pricing section for let me just make this a smaller um, Let's just go to introduction. Is it here? Okay, not here. So let's go back to the home page um, under the pricing section. Uh, so to send the emails, uh, you can start with this free tier. You can send 3,000 emails a month. 100 emails daily, which is uh, pretty extensive. It supports one domain and one day data retention. So if you're on the free plan, this is for transactional emails. For broadcasting emails, uh, you can go to marketing emails. Again, you can start for free. You can add a thousand contacts a month and send unlimited emails. 
and you can create one audience. So let's talk about what audiences are. Let's go to my dashboard. So on the dashboard, you can see this broadcast section and then you can create different broadcast emails. You also have this audiences. Uh, when you sign up, it creates this general audience for you. This is the only one you can have if you're on a free plan. I'm on a free plan, so I've created one if you wanted to create uh, more audiences, you have to upgrade to the pro uh, marketing plan that allows you to have unlimited audiences and add up to 5,000 contacts a month. But even for the free tier, it's you have unlimited emails with 1,000 contacts a month. I think it's enough for me. Depending on your need, you can sign up to the paid plans if you want to. Now, once you have your audience set up, you can rename this to anything you want. You can just come here and edit this audience with the name. You can add contacts manually or import a CSV to have your contacts in this audience. Now, in a broadcast email, you can just come in here and design your email. So if you can see, I have this email newsletter here. I have global styles here for backgrounds, typography, link colors, button colors, and whatnot. You can also hover over each individual section and you can click this style. Then you can style this specific block. And as I mentioned, this uh, just supports any markup or you can hit slash just like Notion to add in anything that you want here. So it's pretty cool, pretty easy to style your emails here. Once you have, you're done with uh, this style, you can send a test email to yourself. And once the test is completed, you can just send it to your audience. Uh, this is going to send it to two contacts because that's what I have in my audience. So that's as far as setting your the actual email that goes out or designing it and sending it, managing your contacts and your audiences. But from our application side, just from a high level, we created uh, this subscription form. So inside of our components, I have this newsletter form uh, that's basically using React Hook Forms, Zot for validation and several actions to uh, capture the email address of this user or the subscriber. In this process form, we're going to process this form submission so we don't have any API endpoints. Instead, we're using server actions. Again, if you haven't watched the video, uh, there's a link in the description. You can hop over Kyle's channel, Web Dev Simplified. Watch this video where we built this project from the ground up, implementing MDX in Next.js. It's a pretty cool application or portfolio that you can just use writing blog posts that allows you to write blog posts as MDX in your project or add recent projects that you had done like this. Um, let me just quickly show you if you haven't watched that video so you can add uh, MDX. It allows you to bring in React components in your markdown. And then uh, here at the end, we had this subscription or subscribe to newsletter forums where we're using server actions. Now, when we're processing this form, so once it passes the data verification or valid, Zod validation, we're going to call this subscribe server action. Now, in the video that we had in here, we didn't do much. We just parsed the data to make sure that the data is valid, and then we returned success true. But here, what we are doing is we're using the same recent package that we already imported for this send email uh, server action we created that is hooked up to our contact form. So we also have a contact form. They can put in name, email, and message. And once they submit this contact form, we're going to invoke this send email server action, which is going to send them an email and say, we have received your contact inquiry. It also CCs or copies ourselves too, so we can keep track of users who have contact, contacted us. And for sending the email, we're using the recent package there too, to send that email. So resend.emails.send. Um, again, for sending emails or designing your emails uh, using React email, I have a dedicated video on the channel uh, linked in the description already. You can watch that to get yourself comfortable with how resend works and how React email can help you uh, uh, design emails or style emails using React components or the similar composition patterns rather than using uh, the outdated uh, email template design systems out there, which is a headache to design if you've ever tried to work with them. Now here we're using the same recent package, but instead of sending an email, we're accessing the contacts module and we're going to create a contact. We pass in the email 
and our audience ID. So inside of your dashboard for every audience that you have, there's this audience ID that you can copy here and then it's going to add this contact, this email to that specific audience which you can use later on from your dashboard here to send your actual newsletters to. So simple and easy to use. If there is any error, we throw that error. If not, we return the success true, which in turn shows our users a toast notification that they have been added to our um, newsletter. Now we're going to see that in, in action in a second, but another thing you can do here is to send them a, a welcome email. So once somebody subscribes to, to, your, news, to your newsletter, um, they're going to continue getting your newsletters, but you can just send them a welcome email, say, welcome to the newsletter, this is what you can expect and whatnot. So this is for you to expand it. You can use the same recent, maybe with a different template, instead of the contact form email, you can create a different template, it'd be welcome email, and then pass in some customization information and send them that uh, generic welcome email template with their uh, custom information added on. So let's go back here. So to see this in action inside of our subscription, if I come in here and say Hamid at let's say test.com and then I hit subscribe, this is going to show me a toast notification that I'm subscribed successfully. If I now come back here, go to my contacts, you can see this Hamid at test.com is already added here to my contacts less than a minute ago. So that's a wrap for this video, folks. Um, short and easy way to send broadcast emails using, re using the recent library. It's an amazing platform for sending transactional one-to-one -one or one-to-many marketing emails. Again, links in the description for any other related video that I mentioned. If you have a question, like always, hit me up in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.